Tonight, the first public hearing from lawmakers intent on cracking open how law enforcement missed the warning signs that allow the January 6 rioters to breach the United States Capitol. Those who were in charge of securing and defending the Capitol were in the hot seat today. CBN National, Se National Security Correspondent Eric Phillips has tonight's top story. Eric? Jenna and John, the hearing boiled down to three main themes, intelligence, preparedness, and response. In fact, one witness flatly said he was surprised by the response, or lack thereof. These images remain burned into the memories of Americans, perhaps even more so for those in this room, many living through the attack as it happened. We need to know. Was there credible intelligence about potential violence? When was it known and who knew it? On the hot seat, the former U.S. Capitol Police chief, along with the former sergeants at arms of both the House and Senate, each resigned after the riots, with the chief now saying he regrets doing so. Also appearing before the Senate panel, the acting chief of the D.C. Metropolitan Police Department. Three themes resonated repeatedly. First, the insufficient intelligence leading up to January 6th. We properly planned for a mass demonstration with possible violence. What we got was a military-style coordinated assault on my officers and a violent takeover of the Capitol building. Based on the intelligence, we all believed that the plan met the threat and that we were prepared. We now know that we had the wrong plan. Then a general issue with preparedness. No civilian law enforcement agency, to include the United States Capitol Police, is trained or equipped to repel an insurrection of thousands of individuals focused on breaching a building at all costs. Thirdly, response. Acting Police Chief Robert Conti told the committee that D.C. Metro Police could not respond until he got the request from U.S. Capitol Police. The mob sustained assault on the Capitol, precipitated an equally unprecedented response, with then Capitol Police Chief Steve Sun issuing an urgent request for MPD to come assist in defending the Capitol. He says his force responded immediately, but he questions the sluggishness in requesting National Guard help. I was surprised at the reluctance to immediately send the National Guard to the Capitol grounds. Investigating the events of January 6th continues to be a central focus in Washington. Attorney General nominee Merrick Garland even testified during his confirmation hearing that prosecuting white supremacists and others who stormed the Capitol would be his top priority if confirmed. I don't think that this is necessarily a one-off. We must do everything in the power of the Justice Department to prevent this kind of interference with the policies of American democratic institutions. Today will not be the last time lawmakers look into what happened before, during, and after the siege. In fact, next week they will hear from federal agencies like the FBI, Department of Homeland Security, and the Department of Defense to find out more about intelligence and 